somewhat only 201 days until Ooh. Christmas, and we're here in Christmas Corner with Maria, and today we're creating wedding thrones fit for a bride and groom. Oh, the wedding thrones. They're pretty fancy. Oh, they be so nostalgic for my wedding, and but I get to get the wedding bug out of my system because I was inspired by the Hallmark movie, A December Bride, and it's yes. airing tonight on Hallmark Channel. I love this film. Me stars too. the amazing Jessica Lowndes. And Daniel Lissing, we love him. Yep. We love both of them so much. So Daniel, so I have to say, this one is one of my all-time favorites. He might have accidentally broken up her previous engagement, and they decide to go to her cousin's wedding together and pretend to be uh -huh. engaged. I wouldn't complain. I mean, I could always use the extra ring as well. But no, it's a really sweet movie. So watch it tonight and get the Christmas out of your out of your uh, system. Because well, I, it's 201 days. Exactly. Is too far. It's only 201 days, everybody. Okay. So these thrones look fantastic, and I understand we're going to start with the chair backs. You need a good foundation, sort of, to put that wreath on there, right? Yeah. So the whole idea with this is you really want to create a special place uh, for the bride and groom. Okay. We're celebrating June weddings here, of course, yes. as well with so many weddings coming up. So the idea is you can create something spectacular. This is what I love about DIYs. Out of something truly, it's like a piece of chiffon and a chair. It's and we're amazing. creating a throne. Okay, so that's what we have here. When uh, So for your wedding or your event, whatever you're doing this for, you want to make sure to choose your chairs, obviously, accordingly okay. uh, before you go in. So. This is what I decided to do because I wanted something with all this intricate detail so I could weave all of this in. So I have my pieces of chiffon. When you go to the fabric store, um, this is polyester chiffon. If I was just going to ask. Yeah, okay, this is where you're going to save um, a lot of money as well. So And is it all here, one piece that you're weaving in and out of these little slots or is are you cutting it into pieces? It's an illusion. So uh -huh. I am cutting these into pieces. And Cameron, I'll actually show you as I weave this through. Okay. Um, so I'm doing every other one. So you can see this is one here, this is one here and I'm going to bring it around over here and through so you can see and you just kind of bunch it together right like that so you want to go through each one and you can go in and that's the great thing about is it kind of like quilting it kind of looks like quilting doesn't it where you <laughs> kind of have that and, and if it doesn't look like quilting for your quilters out there I apologize <laughs> to me it looks like quilting so you see I have my chiffon okay. piece right here so it's going to come in big lengths like this and you can cut it yourself and the cool thing about this is it doesn't have to be a perfect length either you just want to make sure that when you're doing it you can see how long this is good job what's cool about this is you can see how long it is and what I do is I just I fluff the bottom and I do this and hide any pieces that are imperfect. And I actually like the sort of bubble that it makes at the bottom because that's what makes it look very, very bridal. That looks so good, and you, Maria. And you don't want it to be too, like, perfect either. You know, you want it to have that sort of whimsical type of look. And, uh, and that's what I have here. And it looks like, as you're kind of doing that at the bottom, it looks like it's all coming together and it may just be one piece of fabric instead of strips of the exactly. chiffon. Exactly, and so when you're getting your chiffon too, you get it, at, for a couple chairs, it depends on what it is, but you could also bring your chair in. Okay. Uh, and the fabric store will be able to tell you uh, exactly what you need to do. Yeah, I was just Or how say, much you need to kind of get for that. Beautiful. I'm yeah, you, you know, you out. noticed that you missed one little. Uh, <laughs> there I we go. I wasn't going to call you out. Yeah, you knew. All right. Know. So as you're fixing that last one go. up, I'm going to bring up the point that yes. obviously we're going to have a wreath. So that's more or less the foundation where the wreath is going to lie on, and go. these wreaths, um, you know, for Mr. and Mrs. for okay, the, so the, the, wreath, the bride and groom. Yeah, exactly. I need to go in there and, and adjust that. There we go. Okay. I'm a perfectionist, it's gonna bother me. No, okay, so yes, the wreath. This. So this is for where you can put your Mr. and Mrs. on yeah. there. The first time you actually get to say Mr. and Mrs. So this is just, uh, you can do this in a few different ways. These are, you can get a wreath form, which is just like a plain, you know, basically sure. a piece of round wood that you get at the craft supply store. These are great buying wreaths. These are great if you want to DIY it yourself. I love For instance, those. like you could put this in, yeah. you could put the little pieces like this in, and uh, just use some hot glue and the poinsettia. Yeah, and also this is one that I got that has mistletoe on it. And I just, I found this pre-made and it was super easy. But what makes it special is this guy right here. Yeah. This is just foam core. Print out your font, and all you do is take an X-Acto knife we, and, uh, and glue this on using this, like a spray uh, adhesive. Okay. And I would just do this, and you score it, do it a few times, and Got it, it. until then, it'll be this. And what's great after that, all you do is put this up, and you can put it up with some ribbon, and then you can just add your Mr. and Mrs. in. Uh, and truthfully, Cameron, you could do this for any holiday it, with any... Uh, theme of wedding. So if you you have a fall wedding, right. I have a wreath down there. You so do. you could actually do this with 
like a fall wreath like this. So for instance, I would do this, I would do a much smaller wreath, but I wanted you to see the colors. So you could do it like that. What a that. great idea. Look how beautiful that is. And obviously on a much smaller scale, but I wanted you to see that you can do this for any time of year. Change up the chiffon color, anything like that. And, and then, then you, you put the misses inside. Yep. Is that what you do there? Yep. You just kind of attach it. Now, could you do like a like a, a his and hers wreath? Like this oh, one here yes. is it maybe a bit more masculine, and that one's a bit more feminine. Could you do that? You or? can do anything you want. You can you customize see? it. That's what's so great is you can make it. So if you are more of like the earthy type or the fancy type, it's all up to you. You could do anything. Really, you Really, really impressive, Bri. And like you say, uh, a lot throne. of bang for the buck. Like this is your throne. Yes. Oh, she's flashing back to our wedding days, everybody. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Full instructions, you know where to go, hallmarkchannel.com. And check out a December Bride tonight at 87 Central right here on Hallmark Channel.